Okay. You should be able to hear me now. Testing. One, two, three. It's going to be an echo for one. <laughs> Super sorry about that. Just turn off the sound. Okay, let's get pub stomped and tanks, huh? Why not try 4.0 out? Doesn't sound good. First thing we hear is I refuse. Like every battle, tradition must go on. But uh, sometimes it's a good warning of cancer. Premium KV-1, hard shell pretty much, compared to the normal KV-1, this thing's pretty impenetrable at below its power rating, anything below its power rating is going to have a hard time killing it, unless you're in a monitor or a Panzer IV. If you have the German 75 anti-tank, then uh, you're pretty good. Other than that, you're gonna have a hard time cracking into this nut. So get up here. Get up to here. Let's see. Is ah, that's what's firing on us. Back up, back up, back up. Don't want that fucker shoot me. Oh, thank god he missed. We're not gonna pin him, because he's... One of us. There you go. That guy's got no turret. Let's go back to that KB-1. I think we got that Panzer IV. I think. Um. Attack the A point. I'm gonna keep pushing. Well, what 
killed that T thirty four. Shot from behind. I heard it. Okay. Maybe I'm a little too antsy. I, I can't do it all by myself. So I'm gonna hold this position. Never mind. Okay. Well, yeah, that was one weird ass angle, but that was just the driver's port. He got hella lucky with that one. And now I can't spawn in anything. So, um, with everybody complaining about allied closer support, the value of capturing points in contrast to just getting kills and kill assists is much different, you know? The points are important. So if there's enemy SBA bum rushing the objective, why don't you bum rush the objective also? It's not like you can't recapture it, take it, just jay out, take a fighter. You kill whatever close air support there are. But, you know, most people are gonna complain, because, you know, people complain. Let's turn the music off for a second, so I can hear any enemies close by. I think somebody flanked us. I think it was a Gephardt that flanked us. Or some 20 millimeter German anti aircraft gun. So much for a gracious typhoon pilot, right? If he just get shot down, or he's getting shot down, he's dead. Jesus. Well done. I'm repairing. Could have easily have just, you know. Oh, 
There we go. These annoying as fuck planes. None of our fighters can shoot them down, apparently. That last one went okay. I'm on an open field. This is a horrible place to put air. I'm just right here to protect myself. Take out us. We can't take anything else on it. That's cool. We're just here to fight here, intercept whatever else is in the sky. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. I lost him. Oh, there he is. I don't know why I decided to go for that guy. I'm stupid. Come on. Why is my aim so shit? Okay, I should get him now. Okay. Just squeeze the trigger until he dies, right? These Shavax are the worst guns in the history of mankind.
Okay. Telling me to return to the fucking combat field or the battlefield. Yeah. Oh. Curb your landing. The fuck was that about? Only do that when there's enemies nearby, please. Next time, game. Attention to the map. I don't even care anymore. This is gonna be one sketch ass landing. Attention to the map. I'm just here, J out. I don't even care anymore. We we're not gonna win it. Man, it took we need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. I'm gonna unplug my mic and check the audio real quick. Audio seems very nice. Okay. I hope the stream isn't lagging for anybody. I hope it's going perfectly well. And there we go. And that, kids, is how to deal with the allied cast. So you don't have to make YouTube videos with 30,000 people watching it about how you're tired of airplanes blowing up tanks doing what they do best. It's ridiculous, right? <laughs> Secret documents. Ha 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 ha. I don't like tanks. I hate tanks. Anybody tell you I hate tanks? <sighs> uh, <laughs> I'm an airplane man. I can't wait. Next update. Let's, let's fly some airplanes, eh? Who's for the ways of me airplanes, eh, Matt? I'm wearing nothing but pants.
Oh, oh, we finally found the match. Thank God. I was contemplating, you know, cutting off my dicks. No. Realistic battle sneak needs markers. Tank balance is all right. Whoa, that's an aircraft control tower. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, we just got to get that speed. That's a hill. Of course. If he would have spawned any longer, any not any longer, any earlier than anybody else on this team, he would have been all on top of our shit. This MIG right here, because their acceleration is retarded. Fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, found some targets to engage. Okay, that noise. That 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 noise gets annoying. Let's see if we can type that LA-15. Our ass looks clear. I know there's a MiG high up somewhere, so just keep my ass safe. There goes one of our B-57s. And this other B-57 is running away from me, knowing the ammo I'm trying to save it from that LA-15. annoying, that's all. There's nothing more than low mid tier support jets on their team. And one MiG seventeen I think. A couple jet bombers. I got that weak ass team composition, you know, even though nobody really has the say if it was more like MOBAs where you had a say in what jet you get to fly, then this game would probably appeal to a lot more people. But it's, it's just a really random fucking guess of what you'll fucking get. It's not very fun. Where did my team go? All our team died already? Holy shit.
No, there's still somebody left. Oh, there he goes. He's about to get swarmed. I'm chasing whoever's chasing this guy. I hope the stream's good quality. It's at 60 FPS, high, 720. It's as high as the PS4, let me go. See if we can hit that guy. I'm not trying to get into a dogfight with this guy, so we just gotta pass over him. Roll in there and a. Oh, all in there. Roll around. Gain some speed. Get away from him. Once we get past 600 miles per hour, I ain't gotta worry about that MIG anymore. We just got. Why would you land right in front of a MIG 17? You buffoon. You absolute buffoon. I swear. The fact that you are alive. Is a testament to nothing but Gaijin's inexplicable hit system. Oh my god. Okay then. So, something I just witnessed. Bismal act of strafing shit on our. Did our AA just snipe that MIG? I'm done. I am so done. So. They lost three fighters because they wanted to go with base camping. And they paid the price. You cunts, now shoot the fuck up. No shoot the fuck up. What a sexy plane, huh? Too bad, comparable to the MiG 15, I'd take the MiG any other time, even though I hate communist. They do make some good equipment, though. Hey, you gather enough idiots in one group, you know? There's bound to be like one smart one <laughs> comparative to the rest. I don't like communists. We got two. We got one of these guys. See him now. Uh, but your jet, <laughs> that is such a name. Okay. 
Don't fuck this up, right? <laughs> I don't have any. Hello? You there? <laughs> yes. Where are you? Oh boy. Now I can't fuck up aiming this time. So I only got a hundred rounds. That's like a couple. S Fly smoke whenever you're trying to grab somebody's attention. Just too late. I was too late on the trigger. So too late on the fucking trigger. Don't know why I can't pull the trigger when I'm blacked out. I can move my aircraft completely. You know, just a little bit of, you know, control surface delay. But I cannot fire my weapons. I don't get that. I don't get that at fucking all. So I have complete control over my aircraft surfaces. Nothing's really delayed, especially if you use keyboard bindings or you use, like, your... If you could use your flaps, your, your gear, you could use whatever. If, as long as you're blanked out, you cannot pull the trigger. It is the most stupid shit ever. And it's in all game modes. It's an arcade simulator and realistic, so it's it's even worse. Or at least I know it's an arcade. I haven't played arcade in a long time. How close are we to the next shit that we want? Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm just dealing with the general bullshit of this game.
bad teammates, she mechanics. How are you? My next stream, I'm going to be the most cancerous player. I am going to take rockets on this thing, and I'm going to go strafing bases. Or attacking bases. Rocketing bases. You wouldn't call it bombing. I don't know. Hey, this is a pretty big match compared to the last match where it was like four people on each team. It was left to me to dogfight a Yak 30 and end up missing by like a hair and getting fucked over by the mechanics of not being able to pull the trigger. So we would have both died. Because <laughs> I saw him right there. He was right in my crosshair. I'm so mad. Let me know if the stream's buggy or anything. Laggy. If so, I can fix that. Saber scaring me. Not because he may crash into me, because I may crash into him. I'm sometimes scared of me crashing into me. Just my wing folding over into the cockpit. <laughs> the I hate CL 13s. Nobody ever slows them down. They are always moving at Mach 30. And of course I make the mistake of climbing. There's another bad match because of stupid mistake. man and then nobody checks him too he's just climbed to with me and he's at the same speed now nobody fucking followed him not the a5s because i don't know why you're flying the a5 when you could have easily just skipped over it well you couldn't have skipped over it but don't fly the a5 the a5 is shit i don't care if fucking chicken bites tells you it's good it's slow as fuck it turns like shit compared to the migs the only thing it can fucking do better than any other saber is fucking roll around just a couple of seconds faster than a minute. It's fucking shit. And half my teams, 90% of the time, are made out of fucking A5s. And of course, for me to engage the MiG that just killed the fucking 2B57s, you know, I would have had to flip around. I had to fucking, I had to do that maneuver because I couldn't turn or else I'd snap my wings off and if I took too long, the seal was still going to catch me and have a deflection shot on me. So either way, I was fucked over because nobody likes to, you know, check enemies who just 
fly through your entire cluster, the entire climbing and speed speed gaining cluster the Allies get, or the Americans start doing at every Korean match. Every time. Every time there's an enemy who does it, but nobody's ever learned to just pass a head on with the guy. He can't turn after one. He won't turn after one because there'll be another guy behind you. More times or not. Unless you're the guy at the back who's got to fucking catch the guy. Sorry if I'm raging or ranting, but Jesus, it's every fucking match. Every bloody match. I don't even know what to fly anymore. Mm. I'm not saying it was all my teammates' fault, but Jesus fucking Christ. I've never... I got a talisman for this thing. The question is, when, what time would it be acceptable to fly this thing ever? Don't even answer it. It's never acceptable to fly this thing. You want to go tank hunting? Don't use that shit. Fucking stop being a poor guy and buy this. It's a premium. It's a tier 4 premium. So, is it tier 4 or is it tier 3? It's a tier 4, so that's automatically best. It's premium, which means as it's also a tier 4. It's much better than this. It's got a fuck ton of guns, not just these two shit 37s that if you had to defend yourself from any other opponent, you'd be fucked. Now, a good plan to compare the HE209 to is the TOM 154. This thing is a heavy fighter, not a heavy strike fighter. It's a heavy fighter. 209 is a heavy strike fighter, which can be used for dog fighting. Alright, never dog fight. You can use it for bomber interception, attacker interception, ground attacking. Um, if need be, and it's like, don't, if you and a friendly are the last two on the team, against one enemy, that enemy is also a single engine prompt fighter, then use it to dogfight to distract that enemy and have the teammate come around and fuck him over. Tag team him. This thing on the other hand is so nice. I wish I had it, but I've gotten to test fly it before. It's super nice. These engines are, are pretty nice. They're water cool, so that means if they get hit by anything, you know, you may want to return to base. The plane isn't tough. It's got nice landing gear. It looks good. The cockpit's nice. The guns. Oh my god. I don't even need to explain it. It's German, so the guns are automatically cool. You know, they have nice, you know, 30mm auto cannons and your 20mm cannons. The fuel tanks are weirdly put in weird are not weirdly put in weird positions, that's stupid, are put in weird positions, instead of usually being in the wings, or just one giant fuel tank right here, since, but the guns are right here, and there's a lot of room back here, not sure if that's for a second co-pilot, or if it's just because somebody said that would be cool, they're all like right here, so nine times out of ten, whenever you get shot, you're getting lit on fire. Because this thing's made of plywood, so there's no... The armor that it does have isn't really useful, because the structural integrity of the plane is modeled, and it, it falls apart as soon as anything touches it. I don't want to turn this into a, like, talking about planes. I like giving general overviews of planes before I fly I mean, we all know the Saber, F2, so, you know, single, single jet engine, you know, fuckery. This thing is super nice. I don't know why I just gave me a fucking talisman for this thing. I've never liked this thing. I've flown it like three times. Got like two kills in them. 
all all the times I flew them were in a uh, tank battles. <laughs> I love me some tank battles. I kid. I hate tanks. Um, we could fly the 262. Nah, we'll fly. I don't know what to fly. We could drive tanks again. I may just call the stream now. What time is the stream on? About an hour. About an hour. Okay. Well, since can't fly anything, you know, I'm going to make a video. Then in comments, you can post your suggestions on whatever plane I own that I could fly. Then I'll fly it. May even do a review on the planes that you know I think are cool. I am. Um, I am really trying to master this aircraft. I've died so many times in it, but I've gotten so many nice kills. It's a really hard aircraft to learn because most enemies now fights are much more maneuverable than it and can keep up with it. So, you know, you find yourself in predicaments that you don't even know what to do. So you just gotta go in straight lines and be one with the dart. Until they add tier six American aircraft, until they add tier six aircraft in general, this plane is probably going to be one of the, you know, okay planes to go for. So, I mean, I would suggest going down this tree if you're good at the game. If you haven't got any other jets, the Germans, the Germans, you go down the MIG tree, you use the MIG to unlock these planes and you use the 2622B and you use the CL-13 and if you're not really good even after unlocking Germans you go down the Russians first if after you unlock Germans then you get yourself a nice little MIG don't don't pay attention to the other planes the MIGs are really that because if they had a new tier of planes, the MiGs are going to be, you know, where it's really at. Then you go for the Hunter. The Hunter is expensive as fuck, so there'd be no point as a new player or a player getting his first top tier being a Hunter. It's a very nice plane, but it's so expensive. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that cost, boy. Look. Damn near... One, two, three. Damn near a million to buy. Another 280,000 the fucking crew. Then the repair costs, they lowered it. They lowered it just a bit to 30,000. It was 41,000 before. It's 30,000 now. So even if, as a new player, you've managed to unlock the Hunter as your first top tier jet. Don't don't fly it. This is it's coming from somebody that you know. The only reason you don't have good planes, more planes, is because he doesn't play the game a lot anymore. But I would, I, I have enough jets to at least sell you what to and what not to buy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna cut the stream. I'll talk to you guys later.